this is uh, Tim Rhea here live in Kirkland, Washington. We're really a, kind of the center of uh, the cell phone universe starting, geez, almost 25 years ago with Cellular One here. And I wanted to catch up with Suk Jawanda, who is the uh, chief marketing officer here for the Bluetooth Special Interest Group. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah. Good to be, be in Kirkland. And, and then a uh, friend, client, and really cool entrepreneurial company called Heap Salon. Uh, we have Maurizio... Macagno. Hello, team. How are you doing? Good to see you again. So you guys had a you guys have an Indiegogo campaign going on now, startup out of uh, background of Microsoft. Yes, uh, I think we we are having making quite a lo lot of noise uh, nowadays. You might have heard of Sensoria Fitness. It's a new uh, fitness device that we are building, and we are right now on the Indiegogo campaign uh, and collecting uh, funds for uh, an early release in January 2014. So the reason why we're doing this show is we wanted to, to shine some light for uh, other entrepreneurs out there, the general population in general, and investors who are looking at some fast-moving spaces, paradigm-shifting technologies. And what we're going to do is walk through and create a playlist of videos for you guys today to first talk about Sensoria uh, and about their path to uh, kind of breaking into the market right now with some cool new devices uh, built into socks and soon into clothing, uh, wearable devices. Um, and then we'll go into the Bluetooth SIG, how it can help startups, uh, big companies, small companies, what you guys are all about, and some paradigm shifting things that are happening with your new announcement with um, Android. Yeah, great stuff. So uh, first, give us a little bit of background on Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth SIG, it's actually we're celebrating the technology itself for 15th year. Uh, and this is our worldwide headquarters here in Kirkland, Washington. We're made up of member companies, so the Bluetooth SIG owns the brand. It helps these companies manage the intellectual property and the technology and evolve it. Uh, but it's, it's companies like yours and actually 19,000 other companies that are Bluetooth SIG members that actually make the products. And we add about 200 new companies, new members every single month uh, to the Bluetooth SIG. And that's, that's what's driving the, the growth and the innovation. Great, great. Heapsalon Sensoria, how, how old is that company? So the company was founded in, uh, at the end of the 2010. Uh, it was uh, founded by three crazy guys, ex-Microsoft. Actually, ex-Microsoft just from since March. We kind of worked on the sidelines on this project with this idea that actually uh, morphed from a, a great intuition by Mario, uh, which is the inventor. Mario Spoz is the inventor, the craziest guy on, on the block. And uh, we got uh, basically technology that eventually became uh, feasible. We, we understood that actually this was feasible and was, wasn't as hadn't been done before. And uh, the technology basically is, uh, is smart fabric, smart fabric that can actually detect pressure. And uh, when you deal with fabric, it's, there are a lot of challenges around that, washability, durability, the fact that how do you connect electronic stuff to, to the fabric. And we, can, we came a long way and uh, we are now confident that we can ship products that are not just for the fitness space, but also for, for the healthcare. So there are a lot of interest around this, uh, this technology. So our first product is called Sensoria Fitness, and it's basically a pair of smart socks which have pressure sensors in it and can uh, actually detect the way you walk, you stand, the type of activity you do. And of course, uh, that data col connected, uh, collected by a device, which is an anklet, flexible anklet that will, uh, will uh, stick to your, to your sock, can actually uh, be sent to your smartphone or be stored for later upload to the cloud. And uh, what happens is two things. You can actually get very precise uh, data that you can analyze and get great information about the way you did your activity that can be useful for you if you're a data freak, but can also be useful for your uh, physiotherapist or your coach to give you guidance on how, what you did well and what you didn't do so well. Because uh, devices on the market currently mostly detect how far and how fast you, you run. Uh, we, we, we aspire to see how well you're running. And so we also want to give real-time feedback, actionable feedback. So you're, along with the device and the SOC, we are building an application that will be available on uh, Bluetooth uh, low-energy enabled devices. Uh, Android has just come out with a, with a new platform release which supports that, and we are uh, eager to, to start the development there as well. But this is a Bluetooth smart product, eh? Yes, it's a Bluetooth smart product. And being a small startup, we wanted to focus on some technology that was... Uh, Coming, becoming mainstream, and unfortunately, we cannot 
be t- too much tied to the to legacy. Uh, and Bluetooth low energy is really great because uh, battery consumption is a challenge when you when you collect data and you stream it constantly. And so really having uh, this, this, this ability, it's great for us because we can actually collect a lot of data and, and send it to the smartphone for having what we call virtual coach. So in real time, you grab the data, we analyze it, and uh, if we detect something that it's different from your average or your best, we can actually tell you in real time if you, if you decide so. So you, could, you might get warnings because your heel striking too much or uh, because your cadence is not on par with what you want to be for your goals and things like that. Cool. So, so, so what is Bluetooth smart and how does that enable companies like Keepsalon and their Sensoria line? Yeah, it's a great, it's a great question. So Bluetooth smart is really um, what a lot of these new innovative products are, are based on. And it's, it uses the Bluetooth low energy feature of our latest specification, which is Bluetooth version four. And so it's ultra power efficient. So just to give you an example, uh, Polar, the company that makes chest straps, yeah. A couple years ago, they used classic Bluetooth technology that you find in speakers and headsets, uh, which is optimized for steady streaming of data. They used Bluetooth products or Bluetooth technology in conjunction with Nokia to make a chest strap. It worked great, except those things are powered by a coin cell battery, and it lasts for a couple of months under normal use cases. They came out last year with the Polar H7, which was their first Bluetooth smart uh, chest rate strap. The same chest rate strap now lasts a couple of years. Wow. So this is orders of magnitude difference. So the fact that it's ultra low power means you can now take Bluetooth technology and put it into truly anything uh, and have that connected and part of the connected world. So it's very, very innovative, uh, very, very disruptive in a number of verticals. And sports and fitness is clearly one of the first ones where it's really popped. So Fitbit, the Nike Fuel Band, Sensorio, and a number of other innovative companies that have either pr- have product out there right now or they've got campaigns on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. It, Bluetooth Smart is really the, the technology that's really driving that proliferation. In the most recent development is Android. What's happening there? Yeah, so it's really cool. So if you've got all these sensors, so whether it's a sensorio, for example, sock uh, or the Fitbit, it needs something to talk to, right? It needs to talk to, it needs to send that data to applications. And, and the cool thing about Bluetooth, and one of the reasons why these companies choose Bluetooth is, yes, it's incredibly power efficient, but it's on the devices your customers probably already have, which is your phone, your tablet, your PC. It's already there. It's been there actually for years. And so what these devices have become, the operating systems in particular, we've spent a lot of time as an organization working with, uh, is turning those, having those operating systems provide native support for Bluetooth smart technology. And, and so that's where the promise is with Sensoria, for example. You go to Indiegogo, you, you, you fund the campaign, you get the product at some point, and you want it to connect to your iPhone or you know, now your Android phone. You just go to the App Store, download the application, and for the consumer, you just pair those two things and it just works. Because it works with the things they already have. Uh, and so we've got native smart ready support for Apple and all the iOS devices. It started with the 4S. So every new iOS product since the 4S uh, is Bluetooth smart ready. So it's ready to connect to classic Bluetooth products as well as all these new Bluetooth smart products. Um, BlackBerry 10 uh, just announced support, native support. And then, of course, Android version 4.3. Any new uh, Android device, whether it's, you know, regardless of the manufacturer, if they pick up that operating system, uh, it most likely that's going to be a Bluetooth smart ready device that's ready to connect with any of these innovative products that we've talked about already. And we'll talk about a little bit later. Yeah, very cool. So we're going to do another episode just doing a deep dive into, into this opportunity and the capabilities. I was curious, Maurizio, what's your, your experience as kind of a, as a dev using these tools and what kind of new ideas have you come up with that is enabled by you know, making cool things like smart socks. Well, I, I must say that uh, I, I I signed up for the to the Bluetooth consortium as a, as an adopter company, and uh, I, w- I had immediately access to a lot of documentation that was really jump starting the the development effort and, and allowed us to to work with us that are building the the actual firmware and the, and the hardware uh, to. To really come up with a protocol that it's our specification that we can, can use existing uh, standard uh, already defined protocols but also additional stuff really easy to to create a profile and then start the implementation and we got uh, also some proof of concept code that allowed us to integrate with uh, a polar h7 just because we in our uh, 
type of, of uh, scenarios we want to be able from our app, not just to connect to Sensoria, but also to leverage other health devices that you might have. So if you're running with Sensoria and with uh, uh, a polar uh, art monitor, yeah. it wouldn't be great to collect this data, to have more meaningful calorie estimates, to have more meaningful activity detection. How works, yeah. and, and how that works, well, the beauty is that you can actually get multiple devices at the same time connected to your application in, in no time. Right. It's, re so, it's really... So if they have an API, you can pull the data from their sensors, your sensors. Yes, right? because they, they adhere to a standard protocol that's been published on the consortium, and so you really just have to, to, to read the data, subscribe to their stream, and you get automatically uh, data coming in. The, the beauty is moving from the older Bluetooth specs to the Bluetooth ready, uh, Bluetooth smart, is that you, you basically subscribe to a stream. You don't have to poll for data. You, you get it whenever it's, it's ready. It's across the stream. Right. So, very yeah. cool. And then the yeah, for us, it, we, we have a, uh, a need for getting more data, more frequent, because we want to really see how your foot lands on, on, the, on the ground. So actually sample a die rate, no problem. We, we can get this stream uh, die speed uh, without... without uh, yeah, it's more than just running, because I was interviewing the, the triathlon and, um, expert that you have on staff, and he was just saying just to position shoes for bikes. Yes on the right place otherwise you'll pinch the nerve and pinch the, the pitch the uh, blood and, and people will be biking for a million miles and start to yeah, their yeah. feet will fall asleep yeah there are, there are things that you can do uh with a technology that enables for example change the layout of the sensor on the sock and now you have a sock that can be used for uh, for other sports cycling is one example uh, people don't realize you don't, you don't just want to push when you pedal but you also want to pull yeah. so being able to monitor how much is there is the in the imbalance is useful for for better performance and that's so another application that could be done using the same hardware just a different type of socks and again with the with the bluetooth smart uh, capabilities okay well, we wanted to give you guys all a highlight here uh we'll ask about your website how to get more resources and uh, let's start there and then we'll go and finish with uh yeah, the best place, if you're a developer who's even thinking about wireless, yeah. we think Bluetooth is the right technology. As Maurizio already said, we've got some fantastic tools. Uh, so if you go to developer.bluetooth.org, uh, that's a fantastic place to start. And you'll get the 101 on what the technology is, how to use it, sample code, you know, quick start guides, really get you up and running, just to check it out, just to try it out uh, and see, it, see if it's for you. So developer.bluetooth.org is the best place to start. And Indiegogo campaigns going right now. What's what's happening there? So we reached this afternoon, uh, this morning actually, ninety five percent of our goal. The campaign is still running for two weeks, so we we can actually make a last mile race and and uh, break the records for us for ourselves, of course. And uh, also we have uh, also finished this morning the all the packages for developers. So we also had a great interest oh, cool. from developers to get an SDK early in their hands to actually what what. What's the website? The website is sensoriafitness.com, and you will get basically the redirection to the Indiegogo campaign. So you can take a look, see our videos, see our information, what's coming in, and uh, if you want to pledge, there are several levels of, of uh, support you can give to, to this product. Excellent. Well, hey, thanks so much for your time, guys. It's been, it's been great, and uh, super excited to kind of be here at the cutting edge. Uh, right here in Kirkland, Washington. So tune in to the next episode and we'll deep dive into what's happening with uh, some other opportunities with Bluetooth. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.